this is our question asked in today's skill track daily challenge so let us see our sample test cases so this is the sample input 1 and here the value of n is 5 so we are accepting 5 lines of input and in every line we are accepting 2 integers that is the length and breadth of every rectangle and after sorting this is how our expected output should be looking like the output should contain n lines and in every line there must be 3 integers the first two represents the length and breadth of the rectangle and the third integer represents the area of the rectangle so in our output we can see that the rectangles are sorted in ascending order based upon their area and it is given in the question that if any of the two rectangles have same area then we have to sort those rectangles based upon their length value so here we can see that the first two rectangles have same area but their length differs so in this case we are sorting according to their length and remaining all rectangles have different areas so they are just calculated and printed as such let us see how to write a C program for this this is the program I have written so let us start from our main function first I have declared some variables and in the next line I am accepting the value of n and then I am declaring three arrays named length breadth and area each of size n and then using a for loop I am accepting the values of length and breadth of n rectangles and simultaneously when accepting the values of length and breadth I am calculating the area and storing it in the array area so now we have all the three values length breadth and area now we are going to sort all the arrays based upon the area array so for sorting I am going to use bubble sort technique for bubble sort the loop goes like this and in every iteration we would be checking jth index with j plus 1th index since we are using area array for comparison I am using area and whenever this condition is satisfied then we would be applying swap operation on the area array and whenever we are going to apply swap operation we are going to apply swap on all the three arrays because every arrays must be sorted based upon area so we are applying swap operation on both the length and breadth arrays so this swap is a user defined function which I have defined here so it accepts two pointers in its arguments and just interchanges their values for example initially if the value of a is 3 and b is 4 after applying swap the a becomes 4 and b becomes 3 and this function is of return type void because it is just going to interchange the values it's not going to return anything so we are using void return type so let us go back to our sorting so this is how this swap function works and we were also given in the question that if any of the rectangles have same areas then we have to sort them based upon their length which we are doing here here again we are checking if any of the arrays has same areas and if this condition is satisfied then for comparing we are just using this length array and similarly if this condition is satisfied again we are going to apply swap operation on all the three arrays that is length breadth and area so when we sort like this we have our expected output in ascending order so finally we are just using a for loop to print the values of length breadth and area as per the given output format so now let us give sample test cases and check our program so first I have given the sample input 1 and our expected output is here so we can see that we are also getting the same values so the first two rectangles have same areas so they are sorted based upon their length so the rectangle with the minimum length has occurred first and then the next rectangle has occurred now I have given the sample input 2 and our expected output is here so we are also getting the same values so this is the logic behind today's daily challenge thank you for watching